Hey Austin, tell our art friends what we're gonna draw today. A pretzel. Yeah, cool pretzel. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker. And some paper. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> now we're first gonna start by drawing the letter A. Well, an A shape, an upside down V. Okay, so we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go back down, and look how wide it is. I'll give you some points. We're gonna go up to there, and then back down. And we want a lot of space here so that we have room to put a funny face on our pretzel. Good job. Now right here, we're gonna draw this just a little bit longer. So we're just gonna go a little further up. Yeah, perfect. Now on this side, we're gonna draw a curve that comes around and comes back up to the top. So we're gonna curve around like this and then back up. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So we'll start here, curve back around and we're gonna stop right there. Yeah, good job. Now on this side, we're gonna draw a curve that comes around just like we did over here, but we're gonna come back up and we're gonna connect to that line. So I'm gonna draw a little bit longer. So we're gonna come, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna curve around right here and then back up to there. And this is the twisty part in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna draw the big shape that goes around. So we're gonna imagine this line. See this line right here? Mm -hmm. We're gonna imagine it coming underneath this part. So I'm gonna put a little point right here. See how it's lined up? And we're gonna start by drawing the outside. Watch this, we're gonna go around. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna draw a big curve. It's fun though. We're gonna keep going all the way around. Watch this. Ah! We could do it all the way back around. Oh, <laughs> is that crazy? <laughs> So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna curve around. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes around and then we're gonna come down and touch these parts right here, back around, all the way up and connect at the top. You did it, dude. Good job. Give me five. <laughs> Okay, now we need to draw the inside of our pretzel. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw an, a line that matches. Look how I'm matching the outside of the pretzel. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start right here, draw a line that matches the outside shape. Yeah. Good job. And that's okay, you got a little skinny right here, but you wanna to try to make it even all the way around. So we're gonna keep practicing. So we're gonna imagine this line right here coming behind, and then it's gonna follow the outside shape. See how that's the same shape? So we'll start right here, and then we're gonna connect over here. And you wanna match that same shape. Yeah, good job. Now we're gonna imagine it going behind this piece, and we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna come all the way around and we're gonna stop up here like that. So we'll start right here and we'll follow the shape and we're gonna end right here. Oh, good job. I really like how both sides look equal. Okay, now we're gonna finish one last little line. It's right here. We're gonna imagine this line. See this line coming through? It's gonna come down and then connect right to there. So we're gonna start here and then connect to there. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our pretzel shapes and yours turned out my favorite. Now we're missing the most important part of our pretzel. What is it? Salt. Yeah, the salt. So we're gonna draw little squares. I'm gonna start right here and we're gonna draw little rectangles all over our pretzel. And I'm gonna draw them the same size, but I'm gonna look at that. I turned them so they're kind of twisted. It looks like they're going different directions. And I'm gonna add salt on the top part of our pretzel but not down here because we're gonna add a funny face later. Funny face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, we finished adding our salt and I love how much you added. The more salt, the better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we fast forward that part, so remind our art friends what they can do if we fast forward or we go too fast. Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time. What do we still need to draw though? A funny face. Yeah, we still need to draw the funny face. So we're gonna draw two little eyes first. So I'm gonna draw a big circle right here, and then I'm gonna draw another big circle over here. Oh, yes, and you're adding the smaller circle inside, and then we're gonna color in the big circle, right? Mm -hmm. That makes them look shiny if we leave these little white circles inside of the eyes. 
Cool, you're, and you're already adding the mouth, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna add a funny mouth like that one too. We're gonna do a little U, <laughs> and then I'm gonna connect the top, and then I'm gonna draw, did you do a tongue? Yeah. You've got a little tongue Parking at the bottom? Iron. And then I'm gonna color in the top, just like you. All right, we did it, we finished our pretzels. Now we still need to do one last thing, what does it do? Color. Yeah, we need to color our pretzels. You ready to fast forward again? Yeah. Awesome, give me five, you did awesome on coloring your pretzel, it turned out awesome. He's just brown, right? Yeah. <laughs> we added a little pink to his cheeks and also some red for his tongue. But you guys can pause the video and add extra details. You could even draw more pretzels. You could draw little baby pretzels. Maybe this is the mama pretzel. And you could draw cheese right next to it. The cheese right next to it because we love dipping cheese, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing, what are these things called again? Pretzel. Pretzels, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye! If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.